All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, and this should be done with any digital lock um, like this, is we're gonna reset our, fact, our master code, um, or admin code, whatever you wanna call it. Um, usually, the, most, of them, most of them that I've seen, it's set to one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we just wanna set it to something else. The other thing I do is I always reset this back to factory default. Um, and the reason for that being is that even this one, when I pulled it out of the box, it did have code stored in it, and I could only enter one code. All right, so to reset this thing back to factory defaults, what we're going to do is we're going to push in on these two little sides uh, clips here and just pull that back off. Then what we're going to do is go ahead and pull the battery, pull one battery. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down on that set button as I put the battery back in. And then I'll hear a long beep, and you'll hear a short beep, two short beeps, and it's back to factory defaults. So now I will note that both times I did factory default this thing, um, when I went to change the admin or master code, um, it did do a lock and unlock cycle. Now, now that's not, not saying that every one of these will, um, but if it does happen, it's not a big deal. It'll just basically shut off and then you just go through the programming again. All right, so to reset the admin or master code, what we're gonna do is hold down the set button till we see it flash and then go red. Then we're gonna put in our admin code here. Four, five, six, hit the lock button. Then we're gonna do one, zero, lock. And then we're gonna put in our new uh, admin code, which I'm gonna use seven, four, eight, five, nine, six. Hit the lock button again, and there you go. It just took it, you saw it, um, you saw it flash yellow. Now, what we can do is we can hit the set button again, and that takes it out of programming mode, or we can wait 30 seconds. Now, the way to test this is if there's no user codes, what you're gonna do is hit the lock button, and then what we'll do is we'll just use the new admin code to unlock it. And then you'll see it unlocked it. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a user code. So we're gonna just hold down that set button again. So till it blinks here, let's put on our admin code. The lock button, and then we're gonna do two, zero, lock and then and there you go now our new new user code should be set and to test that again hit the set button or wait the 30 seconds then we're gonna hit the lock four two five and now you'll see it unlocks so that user code is set all right, so now I'm gonna show you how to delete one user code. We're gonna hold down our set button. Don't just hit the set button, you actually gotta hold it down. And then we're gonna go, this is our admin, hit the lock. We're gonna do three, zero, lock. And then we'll just delete one of them. So now we can pick one, two, five, three, six, lock and now it should be gone. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to make how to delete all the user codes. So let's hold down our set button again. Admin code, lock. We're gonna do four, zero, lock. And we're gonna hit lock again. And you should have seen that yellow light. That means all the, all the codes are removed. And now we can lock it. And one, four, two, five. See, that doesn't work. All right, so that's gonna cover more of your basic functionality, kind of the things you need to know for everyday use. If you're interested in the advanced functionality as well, uh, things like one-time use codes or vacation mode, make sure you check out my video up here or linked in the description below. Honestly, I haven't seen another lock that has the one-time use codes and I use them all the time. They're great if I got a contractor or a cleaning crew coming over, I can just give them the one-time use codes and I don't gotta reset all my codes or have a special code for them. So honestly, it's a functionality I use all the time. So 
As always, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you click that link below and become one, and we'll catch you on the next one.